Assalamu alaikum everyone, especially to our professor, Ma'am Janina Swinswat. So first, I will introduce myself. I am Tolino Claudine, BS in General Forestry. Assalamu alaikum. I am Tata Sulaiman Maulana from BS Forestry. In this video, we will discuss lesson 4 in chapter 1 of Understanding the Self. So, in this video, we will focus on topic the self in Western and Eastern thought. Different culture and varying environment tend to create different perception of the self. And one of the most common distinction between culture and people is the Eastern versus Western dichotomy wherein Eastern represent Asia and Western represent Europe and Northern America. It must be reiterated that we contare as we are geographically closer to each other may share commonalities. There is also a lot of factor that create difference in the Philippines on low its region may even similar of very perpetuating self. Western philosophy acknowledge the ex existence of a human self with some exception. Eastern philosophy firmly denies the existence of a human self with some exception. Contemporary neuroscientific and neuro neuropsychological research attempt to locate and identify the human self in the brain. For Eastern thought philosophy, Eastern perception sees the, the other person as a part of yourself as well as the thing you may create. A drama in which everyone is interconnected with their specific roles. Several studies swayed American for explain talk, talk more about their personal attribute attributes. With attribute when describing 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 then serve serves an Asian and general talk about the social rules or the social mm -hmm. situation that evokes it certain threat that deem positive for their service. Eastern philosophy or Asian philosophy includes the various philosophies that origin originate in East and South Asia, including Chinese philosophy, Japanese philosophy, Korean philosophy, and Vietnamese philosophy. All of these are dominant in East Asia and Vietnam. An Indian philosoph philosophy including Hindu philosophy, Jain philosophy, Buddhist philosophy which are dominant in South Asia, Southeast Asia, Tibet, and Mongolia. It Asian philosophical thought began in ancient China and Chinese philosophy began during the Western Chow dynasty and dynasty the follow for years after its fall when the hostel, uh, hundred schools of two flourished six century to 221 BSE this first by city enters culture and culture development and show the reach of the major Chinese philosophical schools confusing and Confucianism, legalism, and Taoism. As numerous less include the school, new school of name school of Ying Yang, this philosophical tradition development metaphysical, political, and ethical theories with along with Chinese Buddhism, Hei and Derek Lewis on the rest of the his Asian culture strength with this begin arriving in China during the hand BS 220 is mm. e to group to group 
Actual Sake Road Trenimation and Produiling Default Bait Distinct Chinese Farms Sauce as Jainzi There are the Eastern Philosophies First is Confucianism Confucianism confused doc doctrine also known as Ruism Rujai doctrine of the scholars is a Chinese philosophical system with a ritual moral and religious application the tradition develop, developed around the teaching of Confucius Master Kong who saw himself as a transmission the values and theology of the ancestor before him other influential classical Confucian Confucian philosophers include Men, Mencius and Sun Quang, who famously disagreed on the innate moral nature of human. Confucianism focused on a humanity's value like familial and so social harmony, filial petty, and benevolence of humanists, and which is a system of ritual norms that determine how a person should act to be in harmony with the law of heaven. Confucianism traditionally hold that these values are based on the trans transcendent principle known as a heaven and also include the belief in spirit of God's Shen. Confucianism, Confucianism wa was a major ideology of the imperial state during the Han Dynasty and was revived as a Neo-Confucianism during the Tang Dynasty. During later Chinese dynasties like Song Dynasty and Ming Dynasty as well as in the Korean Joseon Dynasty. A resurgent Neo-Confucianism led by thinkers such as Zhu, Zhu Xi and Wang Yangmi, Yangming became a dominant school of thought and was promoted by the imperial state beginning in the Song Dynasty. Confucian classic were the be basis of the imperial exam and became the core philosophy of the scholar officially classed Confucianism suffered setback during the 20th century, but is recently undergoing a revival which is termed New Confucianism. Traditional Asian culture and countries and the culture cultural, cultural is very strongly influenced Said by influence. influence by Kung Fu, Chinese, including mainland China, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Ma Ma Maca, Macau, Macau, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and Vietnam, as well as various places overseas, overseas territories, territories, different between Nerti by Ophirians, China source as Singapore. Confucianism can be seen as a code of ethical conduct of how one should properly act according to the relationship with other people. Thus, it is also con also focused on having a harmonious social life. The identity and self-concept of the individual are interwoven with the ident identity and status of his her community or culture sharing its pride as well as its failure for this for this for you to have a harmonious social life you should be able to share your identity with the status of your community or your society Ultimate purpose of life, according to the Confucianism, is self-cultivation. For, for cultivation, you need to achieve the characteristic of Chunshu, or you should be a man of virtue or noble character that your life ended in your social relationship. Cultivate self in Confucianism is actually also known as a subdad self. Your personal needs more or repress 
or sabdad for the good of many that you can control your personal needs for the good or better for all. The second philosophy is Taoism. Taoism. Taoism or the Yuzim is term of various philosophies and re religion systems that in be emphasize emphasize harmon with the Tao Chinese saying Tao literal the way which is seen as a priestly principle which is source source so, source the term and pattern pattern and substance of very things of everything that exist thousand tens to evolve things emphasize emphasize for tools virtues virtues source as we effortless action effortless action Effort, effortless action sharing nurturing uh, natural ness simplicity and spontaneity we pleasing less emphasis on norms and ritual as imposed set to composition is the attainment of infertility throat extel arsin archimi within and internal archi my need done with important goal for many theories historically clearly for a forms of teasing development and the development and the for century yes we see enclosing both the computer cosmological cosmological theories of school of naturalist and the Qing, the school of naturalist of Yang Yang was other philosophical school setting since concept of Yang and five I elements to Yang consistent founder oh. The Dao Di, the Dao, the Dao Di Jing, Tao Te Ching, for C fourth century, century BSE, traditionally attribute to Lao Zi and the uh, Nan Nan Hua Jing. Jung Ji are considered the key texts of the tradition of the first organized form form of Taoism, the Tian Shi. The Tianxi Celestial Master School arose in the second century. Second century Shun Shu Deep Learning also also new Taoism was a major philosophical movement influenced by a Confucianism scholarship which focused on the interpretation of the Yi Jing, the Dao Di Jing and Zhuangzi, and which flourished during the 3rd to 6th century. The most important philosopher of this movement were, were He Yang, Wang Bi, and seven sage of the bamboo grove, Gi Gong and Guangzi. Thinkers like He Yang and Wang Bi focused on the deep nature of Tao, which they saw as a being best exempt exemplified by the term Wu nothing less non-being negativity ah, which they saw as a being best exemplified by the term Wu means nothing less non-being and negativity other, sco other school rose to prominence throughout Chinese history such as Xiang King school during the Tang Dynasty, the Lingbo school during the Song Dynasty, and the Quanqing school which developed during the 13th to 14th centuries and during the Ying the during the Yuan Dynasty. The latter Taoist tradition tradition with also influenced by Chinese Buddhism. Taoist 
Taoism is living in the way of the Tao or the universe. However, Taoism rejects shaving the definition of what the Tao is. And one can only state clues of what it is as they adopt a free-flowing, relative, unitary as well as paradoxical view of almost everything. The ideal self is selflessness, but, th but this is not forgetting about the self. It is living a balanced life with society and nature being, being open and accepting to change. Forgetting about prejudice and pre pre -do, prejudice and egocentric ideas and thinking about equality as well as complementarity among you complementarity among human as well as the other being this is living in the way of tau or universe so taoism actually reject having one definition of what tau is tau is generally so be free flowing relative unitary and it can also be viewed as a proto Physical view of almost everything, a everything I now wish them reject the year, a yard and strike strictness break by complete cynicism, theism with balanced life with society and natural simply lifetime so the safe is not just an extension of the family or the community is it's part of the universe Taoism not only thinking of yourself but also your society and nature the third belief is Buddhism there are various group who have adopt Buddhism. The, thus, you may find different in their teaching with our discussion, but more likely, their their core concept remain the same. The self is seen as an illusion, born out of ignorance, of trying to hold and control things, or human centered human centered needs. Thus, the self is also the source of all this suffering is this therefore our quest to forget about self forget the cravings of the self break the attachment you have with the word and to renounce the self which is the cause of all suffering and in doing so attend the state of nirvana and self the illusion born out of ignorance Confucianism and Taoism still situate themselves within a bigger context in striving to, be con to become a better person. One does not create a self above other people or nature, nature but a self that is beneficial to his community as well as in order and harmony with everything else as for buddhism buddhism Bundi, as for buddhism the self with all its connection and self fish ideas is take not just out of the center of the cute picture but work that will picture in from the whole picture for from the whole picture entirely, entirely confessionism and Taoism still stood the self with within of big gear a bigger big context and striving to become, become a and better person. person one those not create. not create in self above other people of Nature reviewed itself that is beneficial to us community yes will us in order and harmony with everything else. Mm -hmm.
In this Eastern, we relate it on the Oriental or the Chinese philosophy. Now, let's go to Western philosophy. Western perspective does not discount the role of environment and society in the formation of the self but the focus is always looking toward the self. You compare yourself in order to be better, you create association and back in the glory of the group for your self-esteem. You put primacy in developing yourself. Western philosophy high highlight is there is a divine God, creator separate from us. As the emphasized now, Western philosophy is more on the value of equality. And it promotes ideas of fair competition. It is also highlight personal achievement. Western philosophy is philosophy in encompass the philosophical thought and work of the Western Western word. Historically, the term refers to the philosophical thinking of Western culture. Beginning with the ancient Greek philosophy of the pre-Socratic Socratics, the word philosophy itself originated from the ancient Greek philosophy, philosophia. Literally, the love of wisdom. Ancient Greek to love and so Sophia for wisdom. Western philosophy refers to philosophical thinking in the Western or Occidental world. Beginning with ancient Greece and Rome, extending through Central and Western Europe, and since Columbus, the Americas, as as opposed to Eastern or Oriental and the varieties of indigenous philosophies. In general, this website is limited to a discussion of Western philosophy. Although a brief overview of Eastern philosophy and African philosophy are also provided, Over the centuries, Western philosophy has strongly influenced and been influenced by Western religion, science, mathematics, and politics. Indeed, in ancient time, the word philosophy was used to mean all intellectual in the wars, and as a late as the 17th century, the natural science, physics, astronomy, biology, were still refers to as branches of natural philosophy. It has also influenced and in turn been influenced by the teaching of the Abrahama, Abrahama, Abrahamic religion. Jewish philosophy, Christian philosophy, and Islamic philosophy. Very broadly speaking, according to some commentators, Western philosophy Western society strive to find and prove the truth, while Eastern society accept the truth as given and, and is more interested in finding the balance. Westerner put more stocks in individual rights. Easterner is social responsibility. In Western philosophy, the term philosophy is often understood to mean love for knowledge. It is a predominantly intellectual exercise and deals mainly with man's with man's relationship with the universe around him its focus is centered upon the outer world comprising forms of matter and motion or the world as it is experienced by the five senses in contrast eastern philosophy does not use the word philosophy in the hallowed tradition of vedanta the term philosophy is replaced by Brahma Vidya. Its focus is centered upon the knowledge that enables one to realize Brahma as the self that pervades all. In this tradition, self-realization is the purpose of human life. This means the life has been accorded to human beings 
for the purpose of realizing their true identity. This constitution, the major difference between the Eastern and Western tradition is the former, the emphasizes is on self-awakening, transcending the ego and the notion of I and mine. It is about engaging the word with a view to transcending it. In the latter, knowledge of the word is sought to understanding man's status to the world he lives in. Viewed in this term, the Bhagavad Gita represents the found, fountainhead of all wisdom. The wisdom contained in it not only help us expand our mind but it is also expert practical lesson on how we can how we can go about the task of fulfilling the objective of our lives in doing so it helps us balance both our internal lives as well as the action we ought to pursue in the external world the ideas lies in Helping the aspirant develop equanimity of mind, eternal tranquility, and grasping the fundamental element of the art, science, and craft of performing our action mindfully, skillfully, and selflessly. As Swami Rama, the Himalayan master, beautifully expressed it, the teaching of the Bhagavad Gita helped one to understand the distinction between the real self of consciousness and the mere self of ego the mere self is subject to change the dis destruction the real self is not the aspirant should understand both and should finally establish himself in his essential nature at man then he can live in the world without be being affected by it in the domain between the real self and the mere self lies our antakarana interval in instrument, instrument which plays a most important part of both our eternal and external life is not understood both goal of life living in the world and self-realization self-realization are defeated our psychological life needs profound and deep study if we are to free ourselves from the quag quagmire of e emotionally, egoistically preoccupation pre and self-delusion and if we are to realize our fullest potential for the unfoldment of consciousness. Now, we compare the Western and Eastern philosophy. Western philosophy, again, it is indiv individualistic. It's, it is actually came from the school of thought from the Greek philosophy, takes its truth from Rome and Christianity, spe specifically Judeo-Christian. Judeo we can say that Western philosophy is more of Latin, while for the Eastern philosophy promote is collectivism. It is based mainly in Asia, more specifically the Chinese philosophy. It is root from Con Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. Generally, Eastern philosophy is like classical Chinese philosophy. Now, the main principle for western philosophy is self-dedication when we say self-dedication we have service to others that our life focus on service to god service of community and so on this because of the christian influence may not also there in a beginning to find meaning while for Eastern philosophies, its main principle is unity, there's actually the main point of the journey of our life that going to eternal realities. Western focus ethics, well, I Western focus, focus ethics, while Western focus 
on the virtues. When we say ethics, it is deciding what is right and wrong, while on your virtues, it is the repeated values that we have. Virtuosity is also selfless approach to life. Since Western is individualistic, it is its focus on development of the self and the Eastern since its collective, its focus on yourself and its role with the society. Eastern and Western perspective about self, this is a very controversial subject to go through, but I'll do my best to make it short. First, let's forget everything about the contemporary understanding of the notion of East and West. There, this, there, there is nothing, a whole unpe unpenetrable level, level Union West against those of the East mythical orient versus rational west is the fabricant fabrication of the colonial scholar both culture and civilization have many in common so it is difficult sometimes to recognize and separate culture elements second the mot the motive of a human human being that run human thought and deeds are almost the same everywhere so we need a comprehensive study of the case and take an interdisciplinary view to find the differences but i will try to face the notion of the self from the from a religious perception which is more related to my study what are the Eastern and Western perspective about self is if we assume the religious tradition was a mainstream is the East accepting the concept of a super superior being Allah, Nibala, Hashem, Lord, and etc. was necessity religious. As a follower, you should live in a way that God demands. Every single aspect of a follower's life will be defined by the concept of, obe of obedience, submission, and dedication. They should surround their, their will to the Lord, irre irresistible, irresistible one. The ultimate aim of, the, of a worshiper is the contentment and the satisfaction of the worship. How? By eliminating their by eliminating their will and following his commandment, denial of their personal self and becoming a God oriented oriented self the first step toward his eternal and glorious kingdom. As an Eastern, the concept of the self stand stands for something which always exists somewhere out of you. You are not individual. Per, you are not individual person anymore, but a servant who serve along with his other servant. So in the east, the community of the followers is always more important than individual. The Ummah of Islam is na, is nation of the Jehovah. The Church of Christianity is the Sangha Sangha of Buddhism. Are some of these communities with which their interests always come first so that follower need something even sacrifice themselves to protect it in one word self-direction self-direction in the east is out outward for the west let's assume that we can associate the west with the concept of rational rational atheism by this i mean the religious tradition like what we have in the east is not dominant as a school of thought in the west and i don't mean the eastern theism is ir irrational well if we put the age of mythology away which we can actually categorize it as religious ideology in the eastern sense 
Then, we have a bunch of the philosopher who they generally didn't believe in the kind of personal gods. Or at least, not a god who be able to change our human, human way of life. Their approach to the world was formed around a material, materialistic view with a rational, rational realism that seeks the reality of the nature of everything by studying their attributes and properties. The human being was part of this world. The only difference about human was his cognition and awareness. The human is the only creature who can be studied by very him or herself. The journey of the western people into the depth of their most inner labyrinth of self start right there. To the unsaid crack and Greek. its great great and its political system based on a king of democracy of tongues slaving woman and a majority of low levels citizens including both so at importance of the consent of individuality even the stone crisis of Plato and a king of self oriented approach to go governing over the political system however it's first based on the people votes but it is heavily defended of and let individuals opinion every the issues we the is says the vote only belongs to the god or his messengers on a council of his chung sing survey which defeated based on is we which interpreted truth is a revealed message not based on words say first opinion we can see the sparks of wit if all humanities serve in the helitimate area back in ancient crack and the we creek I will be in Joe full life and individuals, not the society. Unless we consent their society, a uh, gathering of the individual and the mind priority of Western society. And the theory of coursing, I uh, will go through the feuds over the capitalism, capitalism. capitalism and modern slavery you so make yourself happy in this in this world it's the ultimate 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 goal of life in a world a uh, one word self di direction and the wish and inward in. i consider christianity as an eastern tradition and of the is, I meant cultural is, not geographically. We have many examples of democracy. See, democracy system also in the is, like the term of the Bay'a, an Islamic tradition which means swear an oath to the rule by the people. People of the Muslim society, or Ummah which give him the author the authority to rule over them sometimes like the election i'm not evaluating the inward or outward direction which we mentioned above democracy has its flows as the geocracy has by democracy the in the institution the institution the institution of power can control pe people's free will using media for instance and theocracy on the other hand can simply lead the authorities to a holy dictatorship 
there is an inward journey in religious tradition in which in which discipline seek by God seeks God by knowing him or herself there are some amazing and heretic reports of many of these spiritual travelers to the rim of the soul in which they meet God in their own faces I won't judge respecting the God could could be God and self be the same so can we recognize the concept of the self in the is and the ways as I ad as identical generally speaking the western concept of self is centered on the individual in entity and include the trait of a character intelligent strength to develop and to discover and develop weaknesses to be identified and overcome goals to achieve and that sort of things on the other hand the eastern concept of self is more esoteric esoteric in the is there is the individual self that is identical to the western concept but in addition in addition to to that there is the self in the is, self is one true nature it is trashy transcending to self and for most people is it is overlooked in large part but less of than in the west but the sage myth mystic and co pros of the east have taught ever millennia ever millennia things like meditation and the various hogas to assess people and the discovering or their true nature this true nature is the community community beneath of apparent individuals is other word to realize and serve self is to discover that there is not uh, there is no restoration to anything is worth any anyone else the self is not different open mind open mind thought concept it's it is not which witnesses and event the overreadment or cessation and the body and all thoughts and emotion that ear experience said it is silent still alert and profoundly peaceful to see up realizes the self and up come to consciously and evade in us through not sure and consistently to be considered to be electing it. The Western self is subject to change for the better or worse depending on how life circumstances play out of out so one can work on improving it and defining it endlessly but the eastern self is untouched untouched by anything and cannot be improved upon cannot be improved upon it is unbounded fullness hubble having no discernible trait that can be measured or qua quantified in any way it is free of everything in the phenomenal word in the phenomenal word because it is transcending to everyone everyone thinks in the phenomenal word the view of western and eastern philosophy are diametrically opposite in the west there exists a multi multitude of definition of the self where where is the is is pro predominant view is the self is rather an illusion in western thought people tend to answer affirmative and think of self as an identity separated from other in eastern philosophy 
Eastern philosophy taught that self is often treated as an illusion. Western philosophy deals with with individual, while Eastern philosophy is related to collectivism. Both philosophy, both philosophy center on virtue. Eastern philosophy takes more of a spiritual approach, while Western philosophy is more hands-on. The difference between Eastern thought and Western thought, when we discuss Eastern versus Western philosophy, we are thinking about the imaginary division between culture from the Western Europe and have been influenced primarily primarily by the Judeo Christian Christian philosophy and culture from Asia that have been have been influenced primarily by and why of the Eastern philosophies such as Taoism, Buddhism, Zoroastrianism, Sinto, Confucianism, and etc. The foundation principle of these philosophies affect the world view of the individuals. Wherein this culture, wherein this culture, which in turn affect the literature produced by each each culture. The do the Judeo Christian world view sees the world as having been created by the master plan of the benevolent omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient science God. There is a order in the universe created by the by his God and opposed by the devils, evils and or of opposition to his divine will. There is a clean clean cut distinction between God and evil his turn philosophies is quite varied and their belief regarding the death they test each many of the philosophies as of how it regard for proper view proper. Proper the how where and the fi difference mm. to her hierarchy and natural is often represent as evidence of a natural order but one gay difference between his turn and western philosophy is a belief in the need for a balance but when in good and avail its is the yell to understand this aspect of, of their with word view and order to understand the word view presented the need may things with study in order on or native American unit the theism he young some both representing of integrated nature of light and dark for forest and the universe do not be tempted a shine western symbolical meaning to the color you said the sample think of them rather as neutral opposite good and not good the philosophy says the be that because we can only knew good and relation to not good, then not good is necessary and anything necessary is natural and de therefore positive. This is not to say that falling grades and passing grades grades and equally equally in in equally revered and Asian culture natures is not to say that unique and ethically in ethic and ethically of homo and moral action and see 
us okay but asian culture with its don't mind it's for that eastern philosophy as observed of oman natural this is the potential for good and evil to everyone and what on on cures and natural fact of the universe must be accepted the self in western and eastern thought understanding the self in understanding the self confucianism a code of ethical conduct of how one should properly act according to the relation with other people focus on having a harmonious social life identity and self concept are interwoven with identity and status of his or her community or culture all or culture sharing its pride as well as its failure confucianism self cultivation is seen as the ultimate purpose of life the cultivated self is what some scholar called a subdued self wherein personal needs are repressed 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 for good of many confucian society are hierarchy hierarchical for the purpose of maintaining order or balance in society taoism for taoism this is living in the way of the tao or the universe reject the hierarchy and strictness by the confucianism and would prefer simple life simple lifestyle and its teaching teaching ha aim to describe how to attend life the self is not just an extension of the family or the community but rather the universe Taoism, the ideal self is selflessness, not forgetting about the self, living a balanced life with some society and nature, open and accepting to change, forgetting about prejudice and egocentric ideas, thinking about equality as well, complementary among human, humans as well as other beings. Buddhism, the self, is an illusion born out of ignorance, of trying to hold and control things or human create needs. The self is also the source of the suffering. It is our case to forget about the self, forget the cravings of the self, break the attachment with the word. With the word, and to renounce self which the source of all suffering. Western thought, Western perception does not discount the role of environment and society in the formation of the self but the focus is always looking toward the self. You compare yourself in order to be better, create association and box in the glory of the group for your for your self-esteem and most importantly put primacy in developing yourself. Although there are certainly different between Eastern and Western philosophy system, they both aim to same goal of apprehending truth and understanding the best of the way to live one's life. Modern day scholars scholarship often makes a serious and arbitrarily distinction between the two which unnecessary and erect and artificial boundary between the two tradition. Since the discovery of of West of Eastern philosophy by the Western explorer and scholar in the 18th and 19th century there has been a arbitrary division maintained especially in a college and universe between Western philosophy and Eastern philosophy stem present radically different view of the world there is no division between the Eastern and Western philosophy when it's come to the most basic question of what means to be a human being. The fundamental purpose of philosophy is not found meaning in one's life and purpose to one but and there is not major difference between Eastern and Western philosophy. According to that understanding, have you ever wondered 
about different between Eastern and Western philosophies apart from ge geographical location. These two part, these two part of the world have difference in their way, way of life and the approach to life in general. This way of living are not only brought about by topographic, topography and physical circumstance that play crucial factor in living, but also the school of thought that govern the major society in the eastern and western part of the globe. Let us take a look first at what philosophy is in general and how is affect and make different on western and eastern society. Generally, philosophy is universally defined as the study of the wisdom or knowledge. About the general problems of fact and situation, connection with the human existence, values, reason, and general reality. It seeks reason, answer, and general explanation to, to life and its factors. Thus, if we talk about philosophy, we talk about a school of a school of thought. And we if we connect it with our topics, it differs and comes with the realities, problems, and situation of certain of certain people like in the case in the case the east the east and the west basically western western philosophy is referred to to as a school of thought from the greek philosophy that influence influence the greater part of western western greater part of western civilization in contrary, the Eastern philosophy is based mainly in Asia, more specifically the Chinese philosophy. Moreover, Western philosophy takes its roots from Rum Rumi and Christi Christianity, especially Judean Christianity. Eastern philosophy, in the other hand, is from Con. Confessionism, Mahayana Buddhism, and Taoism. Those is not safe to say that Eastern philosophy is classical Chinese, where Western philosophy is more Latin in its roots. The mind differencing between the school of thoughts or the philosophy of Eastern with West. Uh, are the with individualism as isn't collectivism and Eastern philosophy is drawn most more into groups or society or people action and thoughts as one is older to find to find meaning in life as they they they, they try to get rid of the me absent absent concept. concept of and find meaning in discovering the truth me in relation to everything around him or as part of a big bigger semi in contrast to Western civilization is more individual individualistic trying to find in meaning of life in and now with self at the center as it is already giving in part of the defined Let, let's we take a de deeper look into more of the as fake or problems is problem or issue these two philosophies try to make sense of the mind principally of Eastern philosophy. Its unit unity, unity is cosmological unit is the mind of point the journey of of life as a ghost toward the external realities lives is around and the 
required rinsing with everything around is uh, it it's important it takes is based on for bio bio your and defense is from the inside to the outside in order to be liberated to inner self must be freed first and in inquired sing to the word around it Western philosophy, on the other hand, is based on the self-dedication to be the service of the other. Life is service to God, money, community, and so on. Due to its Christian influence, there has to be a beginning and end to find meaning. Linear as it seems, Western philosophy is logical. S logical scientific and rational compared to the is concept of eternal and recurring eastern philosophy also thrives on virtue this word be explained with the selfless approach selfless approach to life satisfaction with one has is the key meanwhile Western philosophy focuses on ethics and individuals. One must one must do what is supposed to be done without causing ill to other. Success is based on how much one walk his path without without hurting other people. Eastern philosophy is also more more about the spiritual while western philosophy is more of a hands-on hands-on style the difference is the i of the west and the we of the is as 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 one focus on fun, finding the true and meaning that's all for today's video and wasalam